So today we're going to talk about the social and economic outlook for an aging society. And as you see here in this picture, the, this is my local Vons. And this local Vons has special, actually, times for older adults to come to the supermarket. And we talked about that. And we all know what's going on right now with the coronavirus. And first, there's a lot of irrational behavior going on. You see all these shelves getting unstocked, especially with breads, toilet paper. It's a toilet paper apocalypse. So for older adults, they are more susceptible to being at risk when they are out in public. So hence why these companies like Vons and Whole Foods have shifted, made this special time in the morning for just older adults to go to. And what we're going to go overview today is pretty much a lot of overview the, the social and economic outlooks and just the experiences of aging in this society. Specifically, we're going to talk about more of the practices, the policies, and the, just the, the social conditions related to the aging experience. And when we talk about that, we have to break that down, right? And when we break it down, we talk about SES. So as we talked about a couple classes ago about what is the major killer of older adults, and you see this here, that the majority of the causes of death for aging adults two-thirds is chronic diseases. And those who have chronic diseases are more susceptible to this coronavirus that's going on right now. So here is a little what's going on right now. The CDC says older adults and people with chronic medical conditions are most at risk for the coronavirus. We've got our Dr. Tara Narula here to explain what precautions to take if you or your loved ones are vulnerable. So we keep talking about people who are vulnerable. What does that mean in practice? What conditions are most uh, susceptible to the virus? And here is a neat little graph from Johns Hopkins that populates every day on the, the, the new cases of COVID-19. And I, sh I shared the link there. It's just so if anybody is interested. OK, so as you see here, there's also the aging population is also really changing, right? Those, it, it will get more and more diverse as time progresses. That's also another factor in aging. And the, this discrimination based on age really has detrimental effects. When we talk about detrimental effects, we, we start to see that people who are let go when they're in their 50s are the, experience the worst health outcomes. As you see here, they're, they're just the very nature of retirement is changing. And as you can see here, it, it's becoming taking longer and longer to quote unquote officially retire through the government standards. And by the time that you retire, we, we don't know how long it's going to be, right? And just think about it. So it's kind of wrap it up due to these like these increase in medical innovations right that increases one lifespan increases in these public health right especially for those who are of the higher ses right we don't know what's going to come in the future right so this is all very fluid right we see here that it's it, that it's 67 now currently but we have no idea what it's going to be this is going to be ever 
evolving situation. 